Hello, everybody, and welcome to the week seven module. This week, we're going to compare and contrast again. This will be the last week we work on that, and then we're going to jump into persuasion and argumentation. You're going to go over listing and addition, time words, words that will help you list or give you time words for like before, after, etc. And then you're going to have a quiz on our novel, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. So the overview video is here. The objectives and the outcomes are here. Kevin's plan of attack. How would I go about completing and getting organized to complete this uh, module? Townsend Press is here. Again, embedded is a video. So I would watch the video and then open up the quiz. And I think I changed it this week. Yes. So exercises one and two, I had been giving you as practice, but now I'm actually going to count them as the grade. And remember for the exercises, you can repeat them until you get 100 if you want. And then the mastery test, you can only do once. But I think it'll help you. And I'd rather have you repeat exercise one and two because they give you the right answer so you can learn. And then when you take the exercise again, you can just reinforce that. And then it should help you with the mastery test. And then again, the video is here. Let's go back out. Uh, do the quiz for a caged bird, chapters 25 through 29. Discussion board, there are two this week. This one is required, this one is optional, and I'll go over both. So the required one is called a vicious cycle for three. So what you're going to do is you're going to watch the video, and let me, let me go back out of here, guys, excuse me. Well, the video is by Mary J. Blige, and it's on the next page, but you'll watch that video, and in that video, you will come across three people, Joyce, Paul, and Pelone. They don't have names in the video, but that's what I called them, and I want you to refer to them as Joyce, Paul, and Pelone. It'll be easier for us to follow in the discussion board. So the prompt is, after watching the video, you're going to compare and or contrast. You can do whatever you want. Your, your topic sentence will tell me what you're doing. So the three people. So as you're comparing them, here's some ideas. Where are they from? What are their ethnicities or their races? Are there any other similarities or differences you see? What cycle are they caught in? Are they caught in the same cycle or are they in different cycles? So here again, compare and contrast or both. Again, your thesis, your, not your thesis, your topic sentence will tell me what you're going to do. Requirements, you're going to use two in-text citations from the video. One to support after you give context for your first person and the second intense in text citation will be to support the other person and i'm going to go to the video now because when you cite this there are two ways you can cite the video let me jump to that page so here's the video and i've also the video's here, and then the lyrics are here. And if you notice how to cite YouTube video. So when you're doing your in-text citation, if you want to just use the video, you'll give the time. So let's say Blige, and it's on minute three, minute three to minute 15, and you would put it there. Or if you use the lyrics that I have here, I've given each, let me open it up for you. I've given each group or paragraph a stanza so i want you to use stanza one stanza two so if you said better know your friends or else you will get burned you would just put stanza two or blide stanza two so or if you if you want to be very specific you can use line like line one line two line three but i think stanza is easier for us but if again if you want to use line go ahead you can count them up all right and let me go back out of here so there are two ways for your in-text citations. For the in, for the works cited, follow this right here. Here's the format you follow, and here's how it would look. And just follow these steps. Okay, YouTube obviously is in italics because that's the container. Uh, I'm uh, no more drama would be in quotes because it's being withheld. It's in the container of YouTube. So and then, of course, you can just follow that there. All right, let me jump out. So again, this one is required, and of course, you have to have your initial post done by Wednesday. 
So we'll go ahead and look that over. The optional discussion board post is racism. Is it still in vogue? So what you're going to do is you're going to take the Staples article, the Staples article that we've been reading, and then the In Vogue video, Free Your Mind. I don't know if you know the group In Vogue. They're kind of my time when I was living in Philadelphia. But Free Your Mind. So what I want you to do is I want you to watch the video and then reread the paper. And then did Staples and In Vogue handle racism they encountered in a similar or different way? So we, I can, we know from reading Staples, Staples kind of tried to make himself look like he wasn't harmful, like whistling classical tunes, trying to make the white people feel comfortable. Does In Vogue, does a group in their video, do they react the same way? So that's what you're going to talk about. And here you're going to use two in-text citations, one from the Staples article and then one from the In Vogue video. And just like the, well, and of course, you know, highlight the topic sentence. Every topic sentence has to be highlighted for my class. And just like the Mary J. Blige video, it's going to be the same. The lyrics in the video are here. So free your mind by In Vogue, watch the video. The lyrics are here again. In Vogue stanza two, or if you want to use a time, from the video itself, go ahead, and then you're going to format it just like you would Mary J. Blige, the same way here for your work cited. Okay, and then of course you know Staples. In the Staples article, I give you the information on how to cite that as well. Plus you guys are familiar with it. We've used the Staples article twice. This is our third time. Okay, so let me go back out of here. So again, you can look this over. Here's how I would attack it. This is due by Sunday, quiz due by Sunday. Your initial post here is due by Wednesday. And then your four responses to the students by Sunday. Try to break them up. Some students are making all four responses on Sunday night. Uh, that's not really getting a discussion going, but I hope you break those up. Take a little more time and, and, and effort into those, please. Some of you have done really well. Okay, here, this is optional. This is all or nothing. If you put the initial post, that score you get and then you have to do the four responses if you do the initial post and you don't get a good grade on it say say i don't know maybe you got a 65 it doesn't mean you're finished you can't say oh mr howell i don't want to use this no if you're doing the optional it's all or nothing you complete it the whole way through all right and i hope this helps because some students didn't do well on a couple of the discussion boards so this will help increase your grade help you uh get better get a get a break get a better grade there okay so that is the week seven good luck everybody thank you bye